So, so far, there hasn't been really any like big moves lately, but Cleveland Cavaliers, they haven't made any moves. Mm. Uh, LeBron James is getting frustrated with the Cavs offseason just because they just fired their GM like a few days before free agency. So um, my question for today is, what do you guys think Cavs can do in the offseason? Do you think they're going to be a contender, it's still contending in the East, or will they ever ever make moves in the offseason? Because there are rumors that Derrick Rose might even head to Cleveland, and maybe Melo might still go there. You, I, but at this point, it's not more of what more can they do. It's, it's they're tied. Like salary cap wise, they can't. There's, they have the most luxury tax out of any teams in the NBA. So they're paying so much in luxury tax already. And they have so many players under contracts right now. So it's not more of like, can they do anything? It's more like they can't do anything. They have Tristan Thompson signed. They have Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love signed long term deal. J.R. Smith signed a long term deal. So they can't make any major moves so like even the little moves that they did which is not that bad if you really think about it they recently signed jeff green which is not so bad like it's 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 uh for what they can do to be able to get a player like jeff green who can play that four three four stretch four position and can kind of you know can it, if you really think about it that they're still the best team in the in the east so if they do come out of the east and they do face golden state in the finals jeff green can kind of fill that up that position of like you know trying to guard Kevin Durant and 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 not have LeBron having to guard him like the whole time that he's playing. So they they did what they can and 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 the thing is that LeBron is frustrated, but a lot of it has to do a, a lot of it has everything to do with him, his decisions, his um his uh his in terms of looking for players that he wants to have in in his team in terms of pushing. To get J.R. Smith signed, pushing a lot of players in in the team right now that they have to get certain contracts. It was a lot of you know a lot of it was influenced by him. So the fact that now they can't do anything has a lot to do with LeBron James kind of pushing and really having so much control of the franchise. So it's I think it's we shouldn't really blame much of the management, but it has a little bit to do with responsibility of LeBron. So throw it, so. throw it into LeBron's face, basically. Yeah, because he's never been held accountable. Every time, every single time, something happens, he's just said, "I did my best." In terms of, oh, I handled everything. You know, he he says things politically correct, but on the side of it, there's a lot of you know things that were uh, that were done because of the fact that Dave, uh, David Griffin and, and literally the whole Cavs franchise are are doing things to make sure that he doesn't get upset. Because the moment he's upset, what does he do? He's gonna leave. Right, he has one year left in his contract. Which, he has, which people think he, he might has leave. every single leverage because the moment he leaves a franchise, the value of that team goes down significantly. So if you're the owner of a franchise like Cleveland, whose value is so much, it's like solely dependent on LeBron. You have to do anything, everything you can to make sure that he's happy, or mm -hmm. you, you know, you you're doing what you can to make sure that every time he plays on a season is a competitive team and that. He has every chance to win the title, so it's it's a very it's it's tough. It's it's tough for not just you know for every players in the Cavs, but also to the management and the owner. It's also probably frustrating for LeBron to see all these other teams like get key pieces and then Cavs remaining kind of the same. Yeah, but so. I, I feel like LeBron James, they still know that they're going to be the best team. A mm. uh, few t obviously there's going to be a few teams that are, that might be able to compete with Le uh, LeBron and the Cavs, but it's just that. Do they have that? Uh, they have, have no that stability left because like have no LeBron has one more year left. They have to do something now, if they want to just re-sign him. But I feel like he might leave uh, Cleveland. I know that's hard to say. He's gonna leave his hometown again. But it just it just looks like what what is Dan Gilbert gonna do? The owner of the Cavs, is he really gonna pay that super max? And what also is just to look out for the whole team and team's future mm -hmm. after LeBron. After Kyrie, that's if Kyrie stays as well. So, um, yeah, I do believe LeBron James might leave. So, and then Golden State, like themselves, they just put themselves in a better position for not even like one or two years. But it's, like, it's just a different, a different makeup. <laughs> the two different franchises are just the made up of them. The management, the planning, the strategy wise, are on different level. Like the Warriors management, just the way they man handled money and they handled their players and team. It's totally different than the it's team based as opposed to a, a superstar base in, in Cavs where you know it's solely dependent on LeBron's value 
and keeping LeBron in Cleveland, whereas in, in, in Golden State, it's more how do we keep the team together, right? The core of what, which is Durant, uh, Clay, and Curry, and Draymond, and then surrounding them with the right pieces, whereas with LeBron, it's how to keep him and then surround him with the type of players that, you know, it's very different. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot more time in the offseason, so hopefully there might be something, there might be changes for the team, but we'll see. There's a, uh, NBA is a long way to go until October, so we'll have a lot of time then. That's so true, and like the summer league and everything like that, it kind of builds more hype. And I know, I know, like basketball is now becoming a, a year long kind of you got to watch now there's, because there's the free no agency, more season. and then the yeah. summer league, yeah. it's like kind of mimicking football, where football is all year round. Now basketball is becoming that okay, exactly. you got to be stay tuned to everything.